Hi everybody, Coach Eric here. Um, I'm going to take you through a really quick, uh, thorough, but thorough, uh, foam rolling routine that I like to do, especially when I'm uh, doing big volume, when I'm uh, when my weekly mileage is up, I get, tend to get really, really sore. And uh, for me especially, it's usually uh, my Achilles. That's tight, but I know it's not really the problem. My kid is not really the problem. It's my hamstrings. So as long as I make sure that I stretch out, roll out my hamstrings, I know that further down the chain, I won't get any problems. So here's a quick uh, but thorough foam rolling routine that you might like. So coming back from a run, uh, having a shower, having had a shower, and feeling like you're stiffening up a little bit, here's what we're going to do. If you have one of these, perfect, right? We're going to start with our really, really big muscle groups. So we're going to start with the glutes. I like to start by just rolling everything from your lot from around my hip, so all of that musculature around the hip, and just try and find wherever it's tight or wherever you feel like, oh, okay, that 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 hurts a little bit, right? So just roll on, start rolling around, and. Just roll around the one joint, right? Never roll around multiple joints. Sometimes I even like to start off with my lower back. Just gently, just roll it out like that. Right? Just feel like, oh, is it further on up? Is it I'm really stiff in my spine? Or is it just, is it really down to the hips and the glutes? So I'll spend about a minute here just Rolling around, trying to find a trigger point, some a point that really, really hurts. Today feels right. Then I'll then I'll try and progress. I'll go lower down the legs, right? So we're gonna go down first the hamstrings and find a gently rolling motion. But I can already feel like ow, yeah, that's that right there is a spot for me that I feel is tight and it's giving me a little bit of grief. So I'll spend a little bit of time there just gently rolling it out. And as you'll see, I'm actually trying turning my leg as well just to see if I can really, really find that one spot. Okay. And once I've rolled that out, I'll try and see, like, oh, okay. Yeah, that feels a little bit better. Now, rolling your IT band is, for a lot of people, is uh, quite painful. Because um, they tend to get really, really sore in their IT bands. Start with your loosening up your hip, and then this will feel a lot better. Okay, so you can roll it all the way down to your knee. Don't roll the knee. Right? Don't roll right over your joint. But then go down to your calf. Right there, like right there, just large, large motion. First, see where you feel if you can feel that there's a trigger point somewhere where it's like, mm, ah, that, well, that's the spot. If not, try and turn your leg a little bit, turn it around, see if you can find areas that are tight or sore. And because you don't carry that much weight on your on your calf. What I like to do is I like to either put my other foot on top of it, give it some extra weight, or just my full leg on top of it to really find the spot. Right? And then just go down, roll it out. It's okay, actually. Pardon me. So I'll just roll it until I find the spot here. Yep, yeah, that's, that's a little tight. So I'll spend some time there. Massaging it in, I'll, I'll roll the, just the top a little. And then I might might end up switching it like this just to see if I, if I have on the side of the top muscle a little bit tighter. But it seems to be okay today. Alright, so then I'll move on to my other leg. Starting with the starting with the hip, just 
rolling it out nice and gently. Seeing if there's something there. If there's not, then just progress on to the next step. My left is usually better. My right handed, so I'm slightly dominant in my right hand, right leg as well when I'm running, so that tends to be a little bit tighter. Um, see if there's anything easy. Hamstrings, nah, it's fine. And even if it's still fine, if it's like it's still a good massage, it's still good to roll it out, right? Turn on to the IT band, the side. You can put as much weight on your hands as you want. If you really want a deep stretch, just don't put that much weight on your hands. Um, and if it's super, super sore, like it sometimes is, then just put a lot of weight on your on your hands. And just roll it out nice and gently. Going now to the calves, starting with that big motion again, seeing if there's something that is, that is of immediate concern. If there isn't, try and put some more weight on. And if you still feel fine and think like, oh, I want a really nice deep tissue, then roll it out. Use all the sides, don't just keep rolling on one on one angle, like turn your turn your leg so that you get the whole of the muscle. And then I typically try and do that twice over um, so that you really really get a nice stretch uh, of all of your all of the muscles that have been working so hard. So that was a short foam rolling session. Um, hope you enjoy it. All right. Happy training. <laughs>